I feel like this Disability Empowerment Skills Exchange project, the first one, the pilot program, has been a huge success. We started off with all those usual nerves of finding our feet, you know, not really sure of what we were going to do, how we were going to do it, and I think I can personally say that after three weeks I've been able to achieve so much for the Spinal Injury Association, the organisation I was allocated to. I've created a marketing strategy for a line of products for their women. I've created a social media policy for the organisation to use. I've done lots of training in different media workshops with not only the Spinal Injury Association, but also some radio presenters at Mix FM in Latoka, about four hours away from Suva. I've had the wonderful opportunity of being able to come up with checklists for audits for different universities and different UN agencies and attend an amazing array of different workshops and I've been able to also go out to some remote villages and see firsthand the devastation that Tropical Cyclone Winston caused earlier this year and to meet some beautiful people. I think last night at the farewell when the director of the Spinal Injury Association got up and made an announcement that his organisation yesterday sent out the first press release ever to the media. It had just set up its social media account. It had developed a list of contacts for different media organisations. Um, it was about to start a feasibility study into different products to change the product line for their women um, at the organisation, which is the first step in my marketing strategy that I developed. And they're also about to launch um, a website and blog and that summed it up for me, it summed it up what I had done and it summed up that all those moments where I felt like I wasn't really doing much or wasn't really going to achieve anything, it actually all paid off and I just was so happy that they were happy that they had started making changes in their organisation that were going to be beneficial to them and their members and essentially the wider public and the wider disability community across the Asia Pacific region. Um, so that summed it up for me really. I learn a huge amount from the team at SIA, and not just the team there, from everyone here in Fiji. I learned to be patient. I learned to deal with what resources you have and make the most of it. And I learned to work in a cross-cultural context and that you don't need a lot of resources to be happy and to make things work. I absolutely think the outcomes of this project and the stories of, of what we have achieved over here in Fiji as a DESI team will encourage people to volunteer and will encourage people with disabilities to travel and, and come and try and take these opportunities up. I think it's because this has been so successful. We've done it safely, we've done it successfully, we've achieved so much, we've changed people's attitudes about disability over here. and. I think when people read about what we've been doing, they're going to be excited and full of hope and um, new energy, I think.